This morning, we are catching up with an actor with an incredible resume. Matthew Good starred in the Oscar-nominated film, The Imitation Game, alongside Benedict Cumberbatch. And, of course, fans of the hit series Downton Abbey recognize him as Lady Mary's husband, Henry. And then Matthew Good earned an Emmy nomination for his performance in another blockbuster show. Perhaps you've heard of this one, <laughs> The Crown. Well, now he stars opposite acting royalty, Sir Anthony Hopkins, in the new movie, Freud's Last Session. So uh, Matthew plays author C.S. Lewis, who visits Hopkins' character, Dr. Sigmund Freud, at his home in London while the world is on the brink of war. You lie to yourself, thinking that you can control death the way you control your world and your daughter. You believe that you can outthink your fear by hiding behind your desk in your den of gods, but the truth is you're terrified, understandably, but terrified nonetheless. So wow. good. And stop oh, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. You seem very away. uncomfortable I'm watching this. Physically see, I've also got to, I'm having to grow my hair at the moment for another oh, job. And it, and I, all sorts of things going on this morning, but thank you for having me on. Absolutely. Well, we didn't mean to cause you any distress. <laughs> <laughs> we try not to do so that with our guests. Well, contrary to popular opinion, just because you work on camera doesn't mean you actually... Like, it's easy when you're playing a part, if you know yeah, what I mean. Uh -huh. And the rest of the time, I just want to be in my house with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is fascinating. It's, it's a fictional story based... And this movie's based on a play... Yes, a, a play by the, Mark St. Germain. Yeah. About this meeting. So what was it that attracted you to this? Because it, it really is a fascinating concept. Well, I mean, A, it's lovely to get material which is that rich and that strong. But I also, um, my, my childhood hero... Is, is Tony Hopkins, or Anthony Aww. Hopkins. So, so that was a that was a massive draw, and I, it was also slightly scary as well yeah. because because he's already played C.S. Lewis. Oh, that's right. In a, in a film called Shadowlands, yep. which I think you should which was watch brilliant. it as well. Um, and he's so good in it. Um, so yes, but it was just it's just a brilliant story, and it's very rare that you kind of get two people the simplicity of two people sitting in a room mm. and talking about it, and and they are two of the greatest minds of the of the 20th century. So, so, so suspend your disbelief, obviously, but... They, they say it's always dangerous when you meet your idols. What was it like? Mm. Oh, not in this case. <laughs> because, oh, just everything you'd ever want... I mean, he just came up to us and went, call me Tony. Uh, Which is so uh, funny. I would never think he's a Tony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd think he's probably one of you. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, he was just a dream, and he's just so... He's full of energy and is, and is, and is more engaged than he, than he ever has, has been, and... And considering, if you think about it, I get 50% of my performance from anybody that I'm opposite, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So if you're opposite one of the greatest actors of all time, yeah. you're, you're hoping it's going to elevate. A bit like if I was playing with Federer, I was hope, yeah. I'd hope my tennis... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to you know step I mean? up a little bit more, you yeah, know? Yeah, to kind of bring, bring an A-game, hopefully. So rehearsing for this, I mean, not only do you have a lot of dialogue, but you also have to, you know, perfect the art of listening mm. because it yeah. is just you two. So how did you prepare for that? Well, I don't have an office at home. My wife does, and I have, I, which is we don't argue about that. That's fine. So I have a bathtub. Oh, oh. So I, bathtub? I was in the bath for months, effectively, just because I was I, with I, water. Or? Well, well, yeah, well, yeah. But we didn't know well, if it was you, like your quiet place. Your skin is remarkably smooth. Well, coming from you, Al, that's just <laughs> Shangri-La. You're aging like a fine wine. Um, <laughs> no, but so I just I sat there and I re I recorded. I made sure I learned all of the the whole script because oh. I didn't know how we were going to shoot it, and we wow. actually ended up shooting it narratively, which was a a wonderful way to do it. Oh wow! But I recorded I recorded him in a cod. Viennese accent <laughs> and just went back and forth. Which that is, is a cool, cool idea. It's what though. you can do on your own now. In, in the bathroom. Way. Yeah, in the bathroom. That's like fantastic. A, yeah. Quiet space. Deep in thought. Yeah. Wait, really quickly, I think this is so funny. So obviously you have a very successful career, but there was a time where you had a job and I read that you didn't like it so much that you told them you had a, a job from Steven Spielberg. You got booked. I, I don't know how anyone found out about this, but yes. Is that true? Someone, your, some, your research, that you know, Wait, chef's what gifts, is the story? I was working in a telemarketing place, right? And it was cold calling, and it felt like we're trying to get money off old people. Oh, OK. And I didn't sell anything. I wasn't very good at it. And I had a script, but I just wasn't very good at it. <laughs> and, and I was like, I've got to get out of here. It's just depressing and awful. And so I just got up and was like, oh, my God. Oh, you're not... Yeah, you know, did a whole yeah. thing, put the phone down, and everyone's like, what, are you OK? I was like, I just got a job with, <laughs> with Stephen Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> why I chose Spielberg, I had no idea. I mean, that was like... It was a bit much. And then I got out, and I got out, and, I, and ironically, I went through the jubilation of being congratulated. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
had to walk home because I didn't have enough money for the for the tube. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> a great That's story. Good. So bad. Oh. I'd say it's worked out pretty well oh, for you. Yeah, yeah, it's going okay. It's going okay. <laughs> have you ever you met just... Spielberg? Uh, no, I haven't. No, he's he's a fairly sensible man. Okay. <laughs> It just goes to show you just needed the right script. I can dream. I can dream. Yeah. Yeah. This has been delightful. Thank yeah, you so, so much. Thank you so much. Nice we really there. appreciate it. Bless you. Freud's last session in theaters in New York and Los Angeles on December 22nd. You're a great guest. Yes. You come back. When you get Anytime. that Spielberg role, <laughs> you come back. We want I the will. exclusive. Absolutely. That's yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.